Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Oh, uh-huh. 
yeah, God is good.
Musa Tai. Praise the Lord. Sabu.
shake Kore kore Mushkila fibe Kaite no talata Nde talata ma shake Kore kore Mushkila fibe Kaite no arpa Nde arpa ma shake Kore kore Mushkila fibe Mara wahit kifaya Ya kwa niyo Mara wahit kifaya Mara wahit kifaya Ya jama Mara wahit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is so good. Let us listen to this one. It's all about wedding. It's all about wedding. Marriage comes from God. Why I want to get married. Hallelujah. I 
halawa ta iris ya sol masi mame shobak mame ruf min bak haleluya
Mama ye, papa ye, mama ye, papa ye, harai go mara thaye. Papa ye, mama ye, harai go ragi thaye. Shukran ye so masiya, Yahweh. Shukran ye so masiya, Yahweh. Uh, we want to see our young men, young women getting married uh, in order to keep our society going and the community going and growing, not declining. Praise God. Uh, whoever finds a wife, you have find good thing and obtain favor from the Lord Almighty. So we need to encourage young men, young one out there to get ready uh, to settle down. And tell you go do lataki and what the shilu rakibu is in Taraban his soul, you see. Praise the Lord. And then we'll be there for you. Amen. Aristanina, oh, well, 
Fizol Barahena Gikeng Gal South Sudanese gospel music is not it's not alive. You are mistaken. And I do go here. We don't pay so a footu I go at a fanan to Alam Hena. Praise the Lord. Is that the there gonna take Iris? Then Iris Gia worry and then the family to gonna Jamil coffee out. Wengi musica out. I not a fanan but and I do music to go at a rabbit rabbit to take a jib jine. Yet angasma. It is true. It is happening. Uh, whoever out there is doubting South Sudanese gospel music, you will never doubt it anymore. Because we have assumed our duties as the children of God. We are gifted like anybody else. We are gifted like anybody else. Can Congolese have gift? We have gift too. Can Nigerian Hindu gift? We have gift too. So it is time for our own people to support our gospel singers. 
our gospel musician. Never undermine your own. Pray for them. Uplift them. Call them in your events. Let them play and do what they can do for God's glory. Please, we will continue to depend on other people. We have to be dependable. We have to depend on ourselves. That now we can do it like anybody else. We are, we are people too. We can do it. But we have to pray for each other, support each other, and, and listen to our own music too. Uh, don't don't think yours is bad. It's not bad. Yours is better than uh, anything. Believe in yourself. Do yours. Allah will take the praise. God. I can be rotan bari. Must give me your rabana. Go na mo. I can de iye tam tam bari. Can be rotan balanda. Go na mo. Can be rotan nuer murle. Must must de go na ta belete jumusura. Go na. I ask your rabana. I mean, I just want to say this Never undermine yourself. And I just want to say this because I want us to arise and shine. Wake up from your sleep. Uh, those who you know have a talent and you have some money, send them to studio so they can produce good music out there. I don't know if Nigerian, they invest money in, in, in their own. You send them the best studios, the best video clips out there. So we're listening to them. Uh, and, and it's not bad. We're all African, but we have to, it is about time for us to do ours. Praise the Lord. We have to believe in ourselves. You know, Banatan and Aulatan can do it too. That's why coming up, we have to encourage them. We don't have to discourage them. Encourage them so they can do more for God's glory. But they are let, let us sing with it. go na lari kero konse swahili zato. Loga jemil dinka go na dinka. People will hear it. Hata kanana magas marutan dinka I will love it. Lano de jamin beletai. Praise the Lord. So we have to wake up, support our talents. And God will bless us more. And then we will identify you. I will identify, wow, this beautiful talent came from South Sudan. Look at our basket players, basketball players. They're doing wonderful. And people know our country through them too. You have to be an ambassador of your country anywhere you go. Do not undermine yourself. And that's the one thing we do. Uh, Sometimes we undermine our own talents. No, they are not. They're just like you. You just have to improve yourself and support your own people. If you see them doing try things, support them. Don't undermine them or ignore them. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. It's a long way coming for us to fail. Because God said in the book of Jeremiah 29, 11, I have a good plan for you, not to fail you, but to make you great. So we're a Christian. We believe in that verse. So apply that verse in your own self. God has brought you so far to fail you. You're not going to be a failure in the name of Jesus. Because God said the Egyptians I've seen today, never see them anymore. Hallelujah, somebody. Never see them anymore. And I will pray with the power vest upon my life, any plan of enemy. According to the book of Jeremiah, uh, Isaiah 54:17. Any plan of enemy sent against us, people of South Sudan, we'll go back to Sanda because we are not here to fail. We are here to be successful. We want to see successful people coming out of our community. Business women, business men, great scholars. That can edify and rectify not only our community but globally uh, to be known. So that's, that's what we are praying for. Because the Bible says we are not tail but we are head. Hallelujah. Who wants to remain a tail? If you, are, you want to remain a tail, then we will know how to define you. But, uh, praise the Lord. Mahalta for proof that you have something to offer. You don't, you don't have to be just a consumer, but a contributor. Contribute with whatever God has given to you. Because then it then end it then cry, then I done it, then either. So, cook your mind. Because God has invested something in you. You have to deliver that thing before you depart this side of eternity to go to be with the Lord in that side of eternity. Uh, your life has to be source of blessing to others. Therefore, you have to be contributing to a consumer. That's a very important message right there. Brother Dennis and uh, Lisa. Yeah. We have to wake up, arise and shine. Matayanogal, Congoli Asaminta, Uganda Asaminta, Wala Kenya Asaminta, Wala Ethiopian Asaminta, Wala 
Zoltan answered me, darling, you know, you are, you are better than me, just like anybody else. Wake up, you know, wake up. Can they make us a go, go to school, upgrade yourself? Uh, can they so go and make money? Make money like nobody business. Yeah, just focus on what is right. Uh, avoid negativity, because negativity is not taking us nowhere. Anything that you're not good at it, find something that you're good at it, and you have passion to do it. Do it better than anybody else. Do it better than anybody else. And then you will find that you have contributed into somebody's life. You see? Just, just one thing. One thing only. You don't want to do a lot of stuff. You don't want to be a politician. It is yes if you not so work it. It is uh, Najar if you not so work it. It is if you not so work it. It is uh, a businessman in the same time. Because uh, uh, you are there. You are there. You are there. You are there. Uh, those are things that are pulling people backward, focusing what you're good at it. Uh, to be honest, you will be a source of blessing to many. The Bible says you'll be the light of the world and the soul of the earth. The city set on top of hell which will never be hidden. Glory to God, Jesus. Just discover what, because, you know, Arabian, I give them a few, is a few elastic, few makana, few fish. Kulu hajan the door, bita. Dalab door. Kante shilta. Bataria wara, that car will never move. If you take the tire out, you say those tires are not uh, important, it's useless. Those tires are not, okay, take them away and try to drive that car. It's not going to move anywhere. That means tires, we're all important in different ways. But you have to discover what God is stored in your life because you didn't come into planet Earth just for fun. No, there's something important in your life. Avoid wasting your time, just focus on what is right. Uh, if you're in Australia, in Canada, in Europe, in America, see what Hajat al Awara can do. Leave those stuff behind. Just focus on what is right. You know, and, and God will pick you from grass to grace. Praise the Lord. I know that one of the good for those who hear my voice and do is all commandment I have given to them. I will raise them above the nations. It's not only nation in which you came from, but nations of the world. They will know you. They will hear your name. Uh, and and, and that, that will be such a blessing for you to leave a great legacy behind. Shankbel Guna became Al Mara Wahid. Mara Wahid. Can tell you Mara Wahid? He's okay. He's fine. That's according to the scripture. Mara Wahid is enough. The Hayele Suali Munda. Mara Wahid. It's not the muscular. The Lata de Mashakel. It's not the muscular. It's not the Lata de Mashakel. It's not the Lata de Lata Mashakel. It's not the Lata de Lata Mashakel. And you live a miserable life. You don't know the third of you. The Lata de Lata de Mashakel. It's not the Lata de Lata Mashakel. It's not the Lata de Lata Mashakel. Uh, so we have to stick uh, and do the right thing. Because I was a Congoli. Once you start to talk about Congo, you're talking about music, about beautiful stuff, uh, dance and dressing and, and food and all this great culture. But if you start talking about South Sudan, you're talking about Kalanchinkov. I mean, I was so sad. I said, what do you mean by that? He said, yeah, because you guys love fighting. Like, you love fighting. Like, you know fighting better than anybody. Anybody have their fight, but they don't show it like you guys do. I know if you're talking about other countries, they have fight too. We, in Congo, we do have fight, but we represent our country well, outside. We, we do great things, you know. Like, in, when we start talking about you guys, talking about clenching cough, killing each other. Uh, yeah, killing each other. There's a lot of stuff that South Sudan can offer. For example, I just uh, told you earlier about basketball uh, guys. They're doing great thing. They represent South Sudan in the international arena. We we'll know South Sudan uh, because of what those guys are doing. So Luol Deng and, and all this great basketball, like Monut Ball, they, they did great thing. And they have tall people in the world, have the tallest people in the world. We can improve uh, those young men's lives and support them. And, and send them that way so they will pick our country up and, and make it shine. So you have that potential. You can do that. You can do it. Stop wasting your time. Yeah, you can do that. Stop wasting your time. Uh, pick yourself up. Say, wow, uh, it, is, it is time for me to move forward. Ever forward, never backward in the name of Jesus. But in Khudam uh, Bidana Bordu, we have to be realistic. Khudam uh, Gazausa, we have to be realistic. You have to be uh, transparent out there. 
is speak up uh, a word of God and, and right way, not to manipulate people. Uh, like in said, oh, no, no, you have to teach people the word of God. So people can live in harmony. Praise the Lord, somebody. Uh, brother Kenyi, uh, we have to come together. Sister Eva Mbago, Brother Solomon Kumundan. Let us listen to this song. Hallelujah. Allah Ta'al Fisa.
Ala tayalfi sama Isimtaki futu kulu Praise the Lord O Jehovah Rafa, Jehovah Shama In the name of Jesus uh, He is the wonderful God Brother Charles Seleman Praise the Lord As I said earlier we have to believe in ourselves uh, We have to support our musicians We have to support our athletes we have to support our women and our children because the days are evil. The Bible says days are evil. We have to resist the enemy and enemy will flee from us. Uh, sight is a function of the eyes while vision is a function of the heart. Vision is a function of heart. For how long we will keep turning around the mountain, wasting our time for things that are not even uh, doing good for us? Uh, I live in the United States for almost 20 years today. And I have seen the way other communities are prospering. Uh, talking about African uh, communities, Somalian, Ethiopians, even other Africans, Congolese, they are doing wonderful. And you see South Sudanese are wasting themselves talking about politics. Don't waste your time for something that you don't know. I, now, I'm a pastor. It's better for me to focus more in my pastoral position, I study hard, upgrade myself, so that I can be able to edify, rectify my own people. Because they need that uh, spiritual guidance. So that's what God put in my heart to do. God gave me talent of music. I focus more in that music. Even though I know we are not getting more support as a South Sudanese musician or uh, gospel singers from our own people. Because they don't listen to our songs. They listen to other folk songs. Yeah, like we, we try to uh, undermine our own identity. Culture, we talk, your identity. Yeah, identity. How, we are talk. How can you ignore that? Nigerians can tell Mosheti Mata Mbita Mwalita Kamosheti Mwanasabata Masida Gisu Tuyu Kutuina Mwalato Montaway Karagu Kutuina They believe in their own food Kutuina Kawaja Kanja Baakul Nofsa Hake Nofsa Haja Kantarafi Culture And Ethiopians they do the same thing They are proud of their culture We have to be proud of our culture And I'm in Moro Let me be proud of my culture to Moro Because I didn't ask God to create me Moro I just find myself there Let me be proud of my culture to Moro you know, so I will take that culture and contribute with it in South Sudanese culture. Kanta Dinka, be proud of your Dinka. Jibu culture is a Dinka, contribute with it in South Sudan and into the world. Kanta Nuer, Jibu Takerebaru, the same thing. So we, we have to believe in our own things. You know, Hajat and Narabar, we don't know what it is, Hajat Sa. Don't look at yours, you know, Kano Fadia, Kanana Jibu, I see that I rack from Balezu. No, you have to show to the world, here am I. They are anakira. So, um, sight is a function of the eyes, while vision is a function of heart. We gotta have a vision in our heart. Sight is the ability to see things as they are, while vision is the ability to see things they could, for should be that way. Uh, that's how I look at it. Oh my grace, praise the Lord. So you see. We must never let what our eyes see determine what our heart believes in. You have belief in your heart. You have to uh, keep believing in that belief. You know, belief it will come to pass. You have to believe in, in that belief in your heart. You know, Yom Tani, uh, I will be somebody. Uh, but you have to work hard on it. You see? Faith is a vision in the heart. Faith is a vision in heart. You have faith in something. Under a tayar. Because you have faith in that thing. I want to so you go to school. It's not going to happen overnight. You have to go to school and study that thing hard. There's nothing of value for you. You have to go to school and study. And then uh, uh, the end result will be fruitful. If you want to be a doctor, you have to go to school. If God put that in your heart, you have to go to school and study. You cannot just go to hospital and start operating people. You kill people that way. So you have to study that thing. So it's good to master something. So we got to have that vision in our heart. Faith is a vision in the heart. It's very important. It's very important. You know, sight without vision is dangerous. It's very dangerous. Because there's no hope. There's no hope in that thing. It's very dangerous. So you got to have uh, hope. You got to have hope that you're focusing. Uh, the vision is in our heart. It's greater than our environment that we live in. You know, sometimes you will panic, that's, that's fine, but you have to do something bigger than yourself. Because tomorrow you have to leave legacy behind. People remember, if we're talking about Mandela today, you don't have to go to graveside to know Mandela was here. No, 
his name in all the books of history. He is the greatest man ever. So he's there. Martin Luther King is a great man ever. His name is all over. You don't have to go to graveyard. You know? So that's what you have to do. Never waste your time for things that is not taking you anywhere. Because the Bible says we are, we're supposed to be light of the world and the salt of the earth. Asa mula kan benun mile mabu kun hilu asla. Ita ita kan dugu mula mile mafu go you will never celebrate shikil mula zedak de. La har mafu go mile mafu go ta amkwes. So we as a Christian we have to be light of the world and the salt of the earth. Uh, so that's important. And the city set on top of hill which will never be hidden. People will see your life from far they will come into it. You just have to increase your values. Increase your values. People will come into you. That's why I keep telling those young men, I say, you know, your life is like a seed. If you plant it well, it will grow. And it will grow. It will grow, time to be a big tree. To produce fruits. People will come from all over the world to share your fruit with you, whether they like you or not. But you have to increase your values. So that's very important. Like I said, sight is a function of the eye. While the vision itself is a function of heart. That's what we have to know ourselves. So that we don't have to undermine ourselves. We can do better than anybody else. We have all the potential. But the thing that enemy, Adol Kher, Iblis, is trying to confuse us. So we keep fighting each other. And I was going to say, I'm 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 going to are fighting they are not focusing anyway because if you're fighting you're not going to be focusing uh, now he came right away and grabbed the other one the other one of course ran that's okay but his brother is gone while you're fighting each other enemy will get that opportunity to come and split you and destroy you so that's why i want to encourage you tonight side is the ability to see things as they are of course while vision is ability to see things as they could for should be you see we must never let what our eyes see determine what our hearts believe in. You have that belief. Keep focusing on your belief. If making money, go and make money hard. Because that money in which you're making, it will better your life and it will better your family's life and it will better other people's life. Like we're here, there's people keep calling us, Rasulana Guru, Rasulana Guru. And if you don't have money, what are you going to do? And those are your family, your relatives. Finas and Agbardo as the heart. They, they know you. Because they know you, you're in that position today, living in diaspora, in America, in Australia, in Canada, in Europe. Uh, they're looking like you're better than them. They're looking up to you. They'll call and ask you for help, for assistance. So if you're not well equipped, how are you going to assist them? So, because the way even your influence has is not really working. So we should be better than, you know, them, and we will be a source of blessing to them, encouraging them. Uh, we, we can, we we're supposed to be a source of blessing to those people. So now, faith is a vision in the heart. You have to keep working on it. You keep working on it until something happens. Side without vision is very dangerous. Uh, you will end up a loser, something like that. So that's not good. The vision in our heart are greater than our environment we should live in. God gave us vision so we would not have to live by what we see because <clears throat> God says so. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. <laughs> Welcome, uh, Bishop Papayamba. God bless you. Uh, Brother Abad Philip. Uh, Serena Jana. God bless you. So we, we saw students who have to wake up. There are a lot of things that is not working. Uh, but you know, God has brought us so far to fail us. God brought our country out of bandage of enemy. Um, we have fought for more than 50 something years uh, with the help of God, with the help of church. Ministers of gospel pray day and night. I remember when I was young in Khartoum, that revival was an easy revival. People pray day and night. We need our country. We need our country. So God said, okay, I heard your cry. Just like the children of Israel. They cried for 450 years in, in Egypt. God help us. We're tired. We have been slaves and all this kind of stuff. God appeared on Moses in burning bush. He said, Moses, get your shoes out of. Uh, you have, this, this is a holy ground you're standing in. Moses was so surprised. The bush wasn't burning, even though fire was all over. He heard that voice. Moses said, who you are? He said, I am that I am. That is not even a name. Yes, it's talking about being, existing. 
and I'm sending you to Pharaoh to free my firstborn son Israel in order for my son to go and worship me in the desert. That's what our prayer. That's what we were praying for. We want to go and worship God in the desert. God free children of Israel. He said Moses went to Pharaoh. A lot of challenges. A lot of challenges. Say go to Pharaoh to free my firstborn. So you see, God is calling you first son and firstborn son. So my son can go and worship me in the desert. You know, with that power vested upon your life. You know, Moses went and he did what he did according to God's instruction, and then. They reached to the Red Sea. They were crying again. God said, what is in your hand? Knock that Red Sea. And the Red Sea opened. The children uh, went to the other side. They crossed to the other side. God actually crossed us to the other side. We're on the other side right now. But we're still turning around the mountain. The promised land is around the corner, but we're turning around the mountain. Wasting our time for things that are not taking us nowhere. So we have to wake up. Wake up, my people of South Sudan. Stop killing yourself. Just wake up. Uh, grab that leadership. Wake up. Say, no, enough is enough. Devil, you'll never manipulate us anymore. We're one people. One people. you never manipulate us anymore. Because we have seen a lot of blessings. Since I was growing Juba, that's Harib, Harib, that's Harib. So, uh, we were created to live according to the way God functioned. God functioned through faith and His word. So that's how he created us to be. While thoughts are the most important things on earth, words are the most powerful thoughts. Design a future, but words create that future. Words can create those futures. There's a more important thing we have to keep talking about it. We are just talking, talking about positive stuff, not negativity. Just kick those negativities. Out. Talk about positive stuff. You see, God will do miracle in our country again. Yeah, and those who are making fun of us and, and, and mocking us, they will start to wonder whether it's that South Sudan or, or not, because we are great people. We're great people, you know. We're great people. So uh, I bless the Lord for your life. Let's listen to another song while we are uh, worshiping God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now, what? That is what you are getting to Just like see, who could desire to be for 17. Glory. Hallelujah. Papa, yes, one is only now, Papa, do you have a tally? 
مشاكل كتير مشاكل كتير بابا صدوي يا تكي ديكي مشاكل song I will leave with you. Rabban Hafiz Yal Taki. Uh, if you give me the Bible, the Bible says Jesus himself came into the sea side, to the shore. And then he saw Peter. He said, can I use your boat? Peter said, sure. And then after that, he said, Peter, push your boat into deep of water. And uh, Peter said, Master, we have been struggling all night. We caught nothing. But as you say, I will do so. You know, Peter was struggling with flesh here. He said, as we're struggling all night, we caught nothing. But as you say, that is the spirit of submission. We are people of South Sudan, we have to learn how to be submissive. And we have to learn how to listen to master. 
as we struggle him all night. But as you say, I will do so. The Bible says Peter pushed the boat into the deep of water. You know, sometimes solution to our problems is not in the shore. You have to go into the deep. And you have to remember something very important. Once Jesus shows up, your struggle will end right there. Peter agreed, and he was submissive. And Jesus asked him to throw his net. Hallelujah. To throw his net into the deep. Because your problem solution is not in a show. You have to go into the deep. And that's what Jesus asked Peter to do. If you find yourself in that situation, Master Jesus comes to you and asks you to push a boat into the deep of water. Never complain. Murmuring. God doesn't like that. Peter pushed a boat. And Jesus asked him to throw the net. The net, he threw the net. The Bible says the fish was all over. Glory to Jesus. The fish was all over. And uh, Peter realized this is too much on him. He has to call his friends. Sometimes you've got to have a good friends in your life. The friends in which if you're in trouble, they will assist you with a good heart. Those who really have fear of the Lord in their heart. Hallelujah. They believe in God Almighty. And they know you really need the assistance at that moment. The fish was all over. The friends came to assist Peter. The boat was full of fish. But something important happened here. A call. Peter realized the man in the boat was Jesus. It's not anybody else but Jesus. He went to his knees and he said, Master, go away from me because I'm a sinner. I don't deserve this. Abundance. Hallelujah. May the Lord visit you today. Say, Master, go away from me because I'm a sinner. He acknowledged that he's a sinner. If you know that, you say, Bible God is Jamiah to also make the Allah. We all sin and fell short of God's glory. If you know you don't deserve it like Peter, just go to your knees. Say, Master, go away from me. I'm not a good person. I'm not a good woman. Gil Baptist, I was Khan. I have gave myself to be used by devil as a as a as a vessel. God, here am I. I'm a sinner. I'm not a good person. I don't deserve to be before you this way. But you know what? Jesus told him, He said, My son, today you will go and fish somebody. Praise the Lord. You fish somebody. God has a good plan for you. He wants to use you. But the only thing we should do is to surrender. Surrender your life into Jesus. Say, here am I. Use me. And the Bible says, in the end, Peter left everything and followed Jesus. For you to be a successful Christian, child of God, connected in the tree of life, you have to leave everything and follow Jesus. Mashakel, wara. Swata, wara. Nenima, wara. Harib, wara. Kulu to switch the please, wara. And then you will be available to use by Master as a cleanness of his glory. We have to thank God for our lives. He has brought us so far not to fail us according to the book of Jeremiah 29, 11. But it's up to you and me to decide to leave everything behind of us and follow Jesus. And that's what happened to Zacchaeus. He was a short man, notorious man in town. Thief, tax collector, hated by everybody. But at the time he heard Jesus was passing by, passing through his town, he said, no, Master Jesus will never pass through my town and my problems remain the same. He find a way out. You have to find a way out like a Zakayo. Maybe you're out there, here, short in your faith, but claim into that tree. And Jesus saw him. He said, Just come down, Zacchaeus. We're going to eat in your house. He was so excited. And everybody that is in that spot, that event was surprised. Why Jesus picked that notorious thief? Rabana Bihib Kuluzol. Gal Kuluzol Batal Rabana Bihibu. Rabana Bihib Matar Batal Zol Al Kosul Zol Al Batal. Rabana Mabi Ferit Nas. But the decision is up to you and me to decide. Say, Jesus, here am I. I surrender my life. Use me as a cleanse of your glory. He went to Zacchaeus' house in Ed. And then finally Zacchaeus realized that the man in his house is Jesus. And he went and pulled his uh, a safe, which is Khazna. Pulled that safe out. 
and gal ayi zolan selu tamino gurus ana brojalo double you see that's a good thing you acknowledge your wrongdoing the garabana alana sera gomen filande ana brija double that's what god wants and jesus say you know peace has entered into this house today peace has entered that's what we want to hear tonight that's what we want to hear this morning peace has entered into this house brother lotfi brother john peace has entered into this house brothers uh, and sister teresa peace of god is not peace of human being those days we're looking salam yajimin insan lakin salam al hagigi khilijim rabara rabara le man dira salam salam hagigi ma fi zol bi shiru minana that's what we want today as a believers of south sudan that's what we want today the peace that nobody will snatch from your hand forever because how long are you going to live in this world how long if you live 80 years old 90 years old 100 years old 120 as bible say you see you gotta go it is time for us today to realize that time is running out you have to stand up and do right thing for god's glory and uh allow your life to be a source of blessing to many praise the lord so i bless the lord for tonight uh, all the way from Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, that's where we're residing. Uh, you have taken from your time. I know people are busy. But for you to be here with us in this platform is such a blessing for me and for my family. And I honor you. And I pray that with the power visit upon my life as your brother, as your son, uh, that May the Lord see you through during these difficult times. May the Lord continue to honor each and every one of us so it can be a source of blessing into this generation of ours. Book of Isaiah 43. 21 like a jabal to house a shop in nfc the hardest with us made a column to ramana and i collect and sander i form this will for my own self to proclaim with my praise the column to ramana yana ita ena no difle meji the ismo awel by then i get an end of it is a book of matthew 633 says atlum molokut to ramana awel obir he will bag you team will open i will have a molokut to ramana i get that in the cool man of fire i will have a molokut to ramana while baggy team level ask my kingdom first in his righteousness and the rest will be added into you i had delta there for higher can they may issue can they better quest can dara beer can they saha lano god is the only person that will give you health to make a wealth karabana madak saha you will never do anything finas mardanin fi ju fi jugura bitan fi mushashiyat they cannot go to work anymore but you have to acknowledge the God that said, like, you're about to house a sharp and never see the others with us. I form these people for my own soul to proclaim with my praise. They are all Hajar. Ask my kingdom first, and his righteousness, the rest will be added to you. Hajar turned into cool man of fire. Is a rabbi and a mafia for Hajar taking this out? It's not going to work. It's a making to share your ass and bed. You cannot sleep there. No mother, you're not that mother. You will buy a beautiful car, you cannot even drive it. You'll have money in a bank, you'll never eat it. So, uh, we have to acknowledge all these things. And Rabbana, I'll end up with quest for Hayabitana. The Kitab to Jeremiah 29, 11, God, they are not Sarabana. Al bitalana le barat al aman. So we have to believe in that God. Believe in that God. Thank you so much for being here tonight with me. And uh, we shall meet again next time, by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Bye-bye.